always loved Dot in a way. I, I liked her very much, which is very important if you are playing a character that you like the character, even if they are horrible. I mean, I wouldn't have liked to have had Dot as a next door neighbour, because I would have found her very tedious indeed. But as an actress, I liked her character, because she made me laugh. <laughs> Oh, 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 I say, look at that. Oh, it's the larger. But of course, it, you have to have people to act with, really. And there were certain people whom I had a lot of rapport with, like, apart from Gretchen, there was Charlie. You can go now, because I told you I don't want you in the house. Oh, oh, but I can't go just yet. I just told you, didn't I? I've got something important I want to discuss. I mean, there were certain people whose lives always go in the same pattern, because they are who they are, they make the same mistakes. So Charlie should always have been coming back to visit and Nick should always have been in trouble, stealing our money or something or our rings or whatever there was to steal. I like playing with the young girls. You know, there were Mattie Ziegler, Matilda Ziegler, who was Kathy's uh, um, Bible daughter, as you, and whatever she was, you don't say illegitimate now, the one that was the result of the word we don't mention. I'm actually better now, but it's no thanks to you. Donna, what did you ever do for me? Why don't you just clear off again? We don't want you around here. I enjoyed working with Matty, and I enjoyed working with Linda, Linda Davidson, who played Mary. You know, Paulie, you know how to call the police out last night, sort out her and Mehmet? Yeah, well, they threw him out. I didn't do anything wrong. Go on. Well, now you'll learn, won't you? If you play with fire, you'll get your fingers burned. I think Ethel as far as Dot was concerned, was a bit doolally. I mean, she didn't really think she was quite the full shilling. I always have a feeling I looked a bit like Rita Garbo. What are you talking about? Well, that famous picture of her. You must have seen it in Picture Girl and Picture Show. Oh, we used to have it every week in the old days. I mean, there she was, standing there at the front of the ship, and all her hair was blowing in the breeze, and she had a sort of... In a, an enema look on her face. Enigmatic. Dot thought that she had great taste. I mean, she didn't. But personally, the one that was really hard to wear was the big winter overcoat. The whole thing used to drag down. I did know the character, and nobody was writing for her anymore. I mean, that's the reason I left, really, that uh, I felt that nobody was writing for Dot and that she'd lost her character. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Look, you didn't understand what was happening last night. Oh, didn't I? I knew exactly what was going on the minute I heard you sneaking up the stairs. I just went up there to speak to her, that's no, all. Oh, really? What was she screaming for, then? None of your business. Oh, but it's your wife's business, isn't it? And your children's. You really are a troublemaking old bag, aren't you? Oh, I'd rather be that than an adulterer. At least I've got a clear conscience. It was good to know that there was some character that you could play that you were good at. and, and that was the satisfaction.